Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. We are here on location yeah. at Ignite in Orlando, which is lovely. Massive rainstorm last night. That is right. Uh, and I am here with Priya, who is the uh, master of all things data <laughs> in my team. And she is going to walk us through a little bit of what was exciting about Ignite. And I'll ask some uh, weird questions because she understands that a lot deeper than me. And so I'm going to try and stump her. No. Um, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what was announced here at Ignite um, in, in regards to data and what got you really excited about some of the opportunities that we're going to see for customers. Yeah. Thanks for having me, of Corey. Course. Hi, everyone. Let me start with some fun facts. What's so exciting and why the announcements, um, data announcements and Ignite are so impactful for our business. So 2 billion core hours are running Azure d data wow. today. So every core is a consumption for us. And uh, we have about 42,000 accounts which can actually migrate and take advantage of these announcements that what we had in Ignite. Mm. So that's what keeps me exciting. Two bill that's a lot of core hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which already is running on And so that is running today customer it's customer solutions or that's running migration solutions for customers or both. That's both a, actually okay, got it, got both. It, okay, all great, things great. on data. All things data. data. Great. Yeah. Okay, cool. So and so it's a big deal. It's what a big you're telling deal. me. It's a big deal. It's a big deal and we are growing hundred percent year over year it's on this. It's also a big deal. So we are we are have to a great acceleration. That's right. And, and this is why Satya talked about it so much in his keynote. Yeah. Even. Wow. Okay. So this keynote was phenomenal. And all data geeks, you have to be super excited because we had lots of data announcements. Yeah. So I'll start with the first one. Okay. So um, Azure Synapse Analytics, mm -hmm. as we call them, or people call them as Azure Synapse as well. Mm -hmm. um, Named so after the brain firing Things. The neurons yes. which connects the synapse okay. in our head, okay. right? Okay. Because it connects things. This helps people understand when I do this with my hand what it is. <laughs> That's easy. You've reference. never seen this show before, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Yeah. So synapse, uh, synapse analytics. Go. So um, um, quick thing. Uh, Traditionally, big data analytics mm -hmm. or analytics, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's the most evolved thing in uh, in the enterprise computing mm -hmm. because every customer has data. Data is the gravity. Mm -hmm. Data is a sticky workload. We all know about it. But traditionally, we have approached in different spectrum of things. One, we've talked about operational analytics. Mm -hmm. We've talked about mm -hmm. big data. Mm -hmm. We've talked about just data lakes. Mm -hmm. Now, for the first ever time, um, no other, no one else has it in the market. We mm -hmm. are bringing the data lake concepts and the analytical concepts all together in one big integrated platform experience, approach. Experience, end -end. yes. And uh, also, uh, what the usual complexities which we face is, okay, I have to do an ingestion, I have to do a storage, and I have to take care of Clean the data, then I have to write, right. Yeah, exactly. and then I have to do uh, some modeling on top of it, which is a And then visualization. And exactly, so, yeah. a typical data warehouse, and then goes into the visualization aspects of it. And then comes the important point, right? After we got the data, somebody has to mine the insights, which is the machine learning part of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about five different roles in a typical IT organization. Right. And five right? different services in a typical cloud. Right. But so that, Azure is not a typical cloud. It is not. Okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's one of a kind and best of a kind. Yes. Uh, and so Azure Synapse Analytics brings everything together. Mm -hmm. The cool factor about it is you don't have to worry. Um, it's a serverless concept as well. I mean, who has this oh, at scale? Cool. Got it. And if you are even going on a provision resources, it's limitless. That's right. what Rohan on stage mm -hmm. talked about, mm -hmm. that we uh, had the TPCH benchmark on a petabyte scale. Right. We actually ran queries both on Azure and GCP and Amazon, few things never came back. Right. But we came back in less than nine seconds. Actually. Wow. Yeah. And so this was this was the demo <clears throat> that if people haven't seen it, they should definitely go look. The demo that Rohan ran where he showed again the the again. and that is available today, Synapse with those experiences in that limitless scale. People can go put their applications, put Absolutely. their put their end to end uh, data solutions in GA today on top of Synapse. That is, is that right. Great. So we we even have an accelerate program where we are taking this end-to-end -end experience of how do you educate your customer, analytics in a day, what kind of programs and offers do you need, what's the migratable estate from an analytical workload mm -hmm, aspect, mm -hmm. and then... And how customers can then learn uh, about all of this as part of training yeah. programs and so, so on. So this is we having an accelerate program. Very so very as cool. Corey said, 
we can actually go do it today and also get to preview some of the serverless and advanced capabilities right, as well. Right, which again are super yeah, unique. Yeah, multi-cloud, all of that. Yeah. That's cool. So that is the Synapse story and it's very, very cool. And like you said, um, uh, sort of the, the uh, many of the analytics portions are available today yeah. and you can see sort of as part of the demo that Rohan run how much faster we are than some of our competitors. Yeah. Um, uh, and then some of the experiences like the serverless experience and some of the, you know, end-to-end -end, the, 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 uh, end -end experiences Paper. Are, some of those are, are yeah. more preview. People can try them out yeah. and get going. Yeah. Great. So that is sort of our cloud analytics opportunities that we have end to end. Yeah. We also announced some very interesting hybrid uh, opportunities or hybrid solutions, right, with this Arc thing. Can you tell a little bit about yeah. this data story when it comes to Arc and what that will mean for customers? It's pretty exciting. As we enable our customers on our migration journey, mm -hmm. uh, we see data which is sitting on the edge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fascinating. And then we have this on-prem world and we have this multi-cloud world. Mm -hmm. So think of Arc as a hybrid strategy across all of this. So we allow customers to experience cloud scale features yes. regardless where they are in their journey. Correct. Um, that's a revolutionary that's unbelievable, concept. Actually. It's unbelievable, right? So infrastructure um, uh, things are great thing. Arian Chapel did an amazing job demonstrating this feature. I so remember. it's like yeah. one single control pane where you can actually see your workloads and your servers and that's instances right. across all different clouds. So now specifically talking about the Azure data services on cloud, uh, that's absolutely brilliant because we are able to uh, now um, take advantage of your SQL on-prem being onto this hybrid capabilities yes. now. And also Azure uh, Postgres Hyperscale. Right. Both are available right and now. And so what this will actually mean for a customer, they will be able to go into the Azure portal, portal. manage with governance, with security, with access control, all of the things that you sort of, um, uh, you know, if you're using Azure already, you've come to know and love. If yeah. you haven't yet used it, it's one of the opportunities of deploying in Azure, you get all this centralized governance and control, yeah. higher levels of security. Uh, but now it allows you to basically stretch that control plane into an on-premises environment right. with whether it be data or whether it be infrastructure or with Kubernetes-based clusters. Yeah. And so that is sort of the view of what this, and that's why uh, the arc, the arc into on-prem, yeah. I guess that's what the... The is, that, names. is that where the name? Do you that, know? That, that is, is true. Where the name, yeah. Okay. If you see the architecture it picture, I it's got it the edge and the on-prem and, and the and hybrid, arcs, so it's an arc. There's arcs into. Yeah. There's an arc into them. <laughs> Thank you, Priya. My pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> this is very, very exciting. And so, the, 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 so, like you said, both SQL and Postgres will have that arc. That's right. And, and, and we will continue to bring the to bring other more, more data services, services um, in the next future releases. But wow. this is a great start because cool. these are the most prominent workloads. Customers do have it today at uh, such an ease and seamless way, they could pretty much take advantage of the cloud capabilities. I love it, Exciting. that's awesome. So Priya, this is uh, the final question for you. This is your first Ignite, is that correct? That's true. So tell me what struck you the most about, about Ignite in general, just top of mind. Yeah. I completed my six months in the company, Corey, Yes, yes. And my first Ignite, yes. indeed. And, uh, um, as a technology geek, it's absolutely fascinating to see how robust uh, cloud capabilities and Have data uh, yeah. products that we've been launching. Yeah. And also as we launch, the customers who are able to come up on stage and to be able to say how they've been how, on the journey with us already, their, yeah. uh, what what possibilities that they are able to see it yep. and having an open dialogue right here with the customer. That's completely new and it's I really love fun. this. Yeah. So it's not just a uh, launch and an education and session. Off, it's it's, like it's a, really about, uh, you know, working and making it available for our customers. I'm just loving it. Good. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening in on what talking about Synapse and Arc. Yeah. These are the two official now signs here. And hopefully you'll have a wonderful Tuesday. And uh, stay tuned for more sessions about some of the Ignite uh, announcements coming up here in the future. Thank you, Priya. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, and have a good Bye, day. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. I get it. See, you have to pee. It looks like it looks there we go. Into. It's recording now. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> He'll edit it. It's fine. He'll make it look good. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. All right.
I, I, I'm going to do this, but I don't think I need to because we don't have mics on. <clears throat> All right. It didn't stop. It, it didn't, didn't stop. stop. <laughs>